So here we are, right in the heart of cardiology, here live in Madrid. This year's ESC Congress is truly global. We are seeing data and knowledge coming from various regions of the world, including Latin America. Have you seen recent trial on Chagas cardiomyopathy, proposing completely new therapeutic approaches? And what about cardiometabolic medicine that becomes center stage? We heard from uh, Christos Kotanidis from Boston how AI can reshape cardiometabolic risk assessment in our patients. But AI is no, not future anymore. AI is actually with us now. It's part of even ESC guidelines. But for me, I just stepped out of the Hotline 4. In my opinion, it was probably one of the most exciting hotlines so far because it presented results of truly innovative new therapies that are already coming into the clinic. Modifying gene expression, modifying enzymes that we didn't treat before. BAX-HTN used aldosterone synthase inhibitor to lower blood pressure by more additional 10 millimeters mercury on top of traditional therapy, creating new opportunities for difficult to treat hypertensive patients. CARDIA-3 uh, tested siRNA agent uh, to uh, try to lower blood pressure in the similar group of uh, individuals by just two injections per year. That would be something. And the results are encouraging enough to move to phase three, as CARDIA-3 was a phase two trial. Olesarsen is another type of medication uh, where antisense uh, is inhibiting synthesis of APOC3 molecule. This is an essential component of triglyceride metabolism, and the trial shows 60% reduction of triglycerides with no major safety concerns. That's very promising. Finally, the Victorion difference is another siRNA therapy uh, attempt that shows that the strategy based on siRNA outperforms even individualized care in LDL lowering in very high risk patients with fewer side effects. So taken together, advanced therapies are already with us now, are already entering clinic. And you should stay tuned to the ESC social media where the future of cardiovascular medicine is being written.